Hey Gospel Guitarist here with a third installment on using the modified FCB 1010 with the Eureka Prom chip install and the Boss GX700. Um, the only thing that I've come up with that doesn't work so far is in EF mode you do not get 10 stomp box pedals like you would with the original Roland FC200. Um, you put that pedal board into, which was made by Roland for this machine, um, you put that pedal board into exclusive mode and then it lets you use the foot pedals to control your faceplate stomp box controls within the patch that you're set to. Um, that does not work with this with the CPROM system for some reason I've communicated back and forth with with the makers of the EPROM and he's stumped I'm stumped he's got it set up to model a FC200 but for some reason it's just missing a command send somewhere and it's just not kicking the GX700 into that mode for some reason so I was trying to find multiple ways to find a workaround in the and I did come up with something and what it does is you're gonna combine your favorites presets mode and your effects mode so you're gonna use 1 through 5 from your effects mode and you're gonna use 6 through 10 in your favorites so plan out what you might want for for your presets up here, you can have five presets that would be your favorite tones. Um, for me personally, I'm going with like a JC120 clean, a Fender clean, um, a, a clean cutting, clean cut, cut clean, whatever it's called, <laughs> um, on the on the uh, GX700, which I like a lot. And then I have two metal distortion tones, just the uh, metal zone on those which I favor quite a bit and then after you program in of course you can watch my other video on how to do that when you're in in preset mode on the board you have to use the preset mode to select your setting to select the channel on the machine and then save that to your um, your favorite preset mode. So I have a video on how to use both of these modes. Um, so check out my video on how to use the preset mode and check out my other video then on the favorites mode. What I'm going to show you now is how to program in to 1 through 5 or actually because of the limitations here 1 through 4 or 1 through 3 because most likely you're going to want to use a pedal and that will leave, that's going to take one of the four assigns in the patch. So I've configured a way to where you can save your favorite patches and have some stomp box control, but not a lot of it. But for most of us, this, this may work pretty well for, you know, if you're not going crazy. So let me jump to... Let me show you real quick when you're in EF mode once you get it all programmed and you have all your favorite settings done and you have all your patches for your effects done which I'll show you how to do in a minute you're going to want to get to the combined mode and you do that by simply being in EF mode and pressing and holding the up button and it'll enter effects preset mode so what this mode does is takes one through five from your effects mode so you want to be sure to save them to one through five and it takes six through ten from your favorite preset mode puts them up here so now my board is split to where I have my favorites my favorite um, patches and then down here I'm going to show you how to store up to four at my knowledge level right now up to four stomp box controls so you can turn on your chorus or delay or reverb distortion you can assign those down here 
and of course you got your your wah and your volume pedal as well but you can't use four presets and two wah wahs or two pedals I mean you only have four assigns to use and this is as far as I've gotten so far can't get any deeper with it so let me quickly show you how to do it on the boss okay so when it comes to programming the boss you're gonna wanna like this is my JC120 setting which is my first patch that I've saved and, and I've already set up what you wanna do is you wanna hit level chain okay and then it will change your display for editing and you use that with your parameter buttons over here and you can like there's your level and then you got a page through your title slip through there and now for here you have your list of assigns and using the knob you can select what what you want to have attached to that like I can have course depth attached to a pedal which would be the control number one for the left pedal if I wanted to do that I just simply have it as an on off switch and then you hit your next page and you got your minimum set to off your maximum set to on and then your source you want to go to eurekaprom.com and make sure you have the numbers written down or printed out for each of the pedals effects control numbers these are hard coded into the pedal board so you can't change these unless you're in the uh, PP mode on the board which we're not we're in boss mode so I have it set to control 65 so if I want it somewhere else I'll just dial change the dial to a different number um, set the mode to normal and then you got your ranges that follow for the preset and then I'm into assign 2 and so on so I have it set to modulation because I like a phaser and uh, my phaser level whoops I hit the wrong button there <laughs> and if you hit the wrong button that means you gotta hit the button to catch back up to where you were see um, modulation on and off minimum maximum are set to on and off notice it's off and on not zero and one okay uh, the boss does have actual words for this purpose of switching your pedal on and off as a normal stomp box and I assigned it to the number two on my 1010 which is control number 66 mode normal the ranges don't really apply it's on and off and then I have a delay set up to my third pedal in the line and again minimum off maximum on set to MIDI control 67 and so on and then number four I have assigned to my volume pedal and the boss um, just for my own purposes I use control number seven but it will work with uh, if you dial it to the expression pedal that will work as well as um, the FC 200 expression pedal that will work as well I just want to keep it simple just stay with the control numbers so that's in my patch so I have chorus phaser and delay or or modulation that could be anything I could have a harmonizer there a pitch shift or whatever is in the harmony the uh, modulation bank for this patch will be turned on and off a pedal too and then you will simply write it to your favorite patch and so now I'm all set up so that when I'm in EP mode on the board I can hit number six and it will call up my number one patch because I put my patches in order I have number one, number two is vintage, number three is clean cut, and number four is metal zone, number five is metal zone. I've assigned those five in a row to the top row in my favorite preset mode. Now I'm going through, the only one I've done so far is my, my Jazz uh, JC120 clean channel. So when I go to six, um, when you want to go to six, uh, 
you're typically going to want a chorus, but I could replace that effect with something else. Sometimes I don't want the chorus on, so I have made it switchable. And so when I go to, you can see the light going on and off. You can hear me pushing the button, right? <laughs> so I'm on patch six and I'm hitting the button. I'll zoom out here in just a second. I just want to stay in a close up for you to see this. So I do have some of the mode for for the full exclusive mode. Let me zoom out here, back off here, and let you see the board. So this is what the board looks like when I'm on patch six. And I can turn, the lights are gonna go on and off with the effect lamp on the unit, on the GX700. So I got my chorus on and off, my phaser on and off, and the delay, or vice versa. <laughs> so I can have all three of them going at the same time. Um, but there's only four presets, so I have, or assigns. So that's how that works, and it works great. However, if I were to switch over to my clean channel, which would be number two on the boss, and then come back to six, my pedals are gone. So it's not going to remember which, like maybe I had the phaser going or I had the delay on. Um, if you're really, really bent on having that done for like a song, you might want to turn that effect on permanently at the machine just until you're done recording or whatever so that you can bounce back and forth but um, this works just for kind of uh, whatever purposes you might need it's just experimenting with writing or whatever you're doing um, but it is fairly limited but it does work and this is as deep as you can get with the Eureka Prom system you can't use all 10 on and offs for all the effects and preamps and loops and everything that's on the boss. Looks like we're stuck with getting the uh, FC200 in order to have that mode because I can't get it to work. No one else seems to with the 1010 even in stock when it's stock. So I haven't come across anybody doing it. So if any of you out there that see this video have done it, please inform the rest of us how you did it. Uh, make a video. So anyway. That's as deep as I can get with this foot controller and the Boss GX700, but it's been fun. I've learned a lot about using it, and this will be the final video, as far as I know of, on using this pedal board with three different modes with one piece of gear, the Boss GX700. So please remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more because I'm not done messing with this board or my gear. Um, I want to do some other experiments that I'll probably get into next week. So stay tuned. I also have another video coming up here, possibly today. Um, found a piece of software to program this board too, but without the Eureka prom. So <laughs> thanks for watching and have fun experimenting.